What's up guys, welcome to another Scratch tutorial. In this video, we'll be looking at how to make a simple mouse dodging game in Scratch. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so I've created a new project, and the first thing I'm going to do is name it Mouse Dodge Game. And I'm going to delete this cat sprite and create a new sprite, which we will call Player. So I'm going to first draw a simple square, and I'm going to make this a small square, and put this in the center. Next, I'm going to select this angle tool and delete one of the corners. And I'm going to center this. And I'm going to make it smaller. And thinner. And I'm going to make this the color gray. Alright, so this is our simple player. And we will also call this costume player. So, I'm going to select this costume and we're going to hold down the shift and turn it so that it turns like this so we want it to point towards the right and i'll explain why in just a second so i'm going to drag a one green flag clicked and we're going to go to looks and drag a show and we're going to scroll up to motion and drag a go to xy and we'll make sure it goes to the center of the screen like that Next, I'm going to go to control and drag a forever loop, and we're going to go to motion and drag a point towards mouse pointer. So, that's why we put, um, we made it turn to the right, because if we make it point towards up, it's going to point like this. Here, let me show you. So if I do this, it'll make, it'll point like that, which is not what we want. So we want it to point towards our mouse mouse pointer so that the tip um, faces our cursor. All right, so next we want this to move. So I'm going to go to variables and create a new variable, which I will call speed. And we'll make sure this is for this sprite only. And let's delete my variable. So I'm going to set speed to zero. And I'm going to go to control and drag an if statement. And scroll down to sensing and drag a mouse down. And we're going to go to variables and drag a um, change speed by 5. Next, we're going to go to motion and drag a move 10 steps. And we're going to put the speed variable in here. And then we're going to drag a set speed and we're going to drag the speed variable. And scroll up to operators and drag a multiplication. And we'll put this on the left side. And then on the right side, we'll put 0 0.7. So when I click the green flag, as you can see, when we click, um, it follows our mouse like that. And it's a little bit fast, so I'm going to slow it down by making it 3. Alright. So we got a nice little game here where it just follows our mouse. Next, we need something to dodge. That's why it's called dodge game. So, we're going to create a new sprite, which we will call enemies, or just enemy. And all we're going to do is draw a simple circle. So, let's select the paintbrush tool. And we're going to zoom in really big and just click like that. And I'm going to make this the color red. So, it's bright. And I'm going to make this bigger. So, I'm going to hold out. Alt and make it bigger. We don't want it to make it too big here. That's a good size. And we'll also call this costume enemy. Alright, so we're going to start off by dragging a green flag. And we want this to hide. Next, we're going to go to control and drag a repeat loop. So this repeat loop is how many clones you want. I want 30 clones. You can choose how many clones. Like if you want 100, you can put 100. So repeat 30 times, we are going to create clone of myself, and we're going to wait some seconds, and I'll say 0 0.1 seconds. 
Next, we're going to drag a When I Start as a Clone. And we're going to go to Looks and drag a Show. Next, we're going to scroll up to Motion and drag a Go to XY. And we're going to go to Operators and drag a Pick Random. Um, negative 240 to 240. And the Y will be negative 180. Alright, so when we click the green flag, we have a bunch of red dots on the bottom of the screen. So yeah. So after that, we're going to um, go to motion and drag a point in direction. And we'll make sure it points in a random direction. And let's say from negative 90 to negative 80 to 80. And then we're going to go to control and drag a forever loop. And we're going to go to motion and drag a move 10 steps. So right here we have all these dots moving around. And to make it even harder, we're going to drag an if on edge bounce. So that they bounce on the edges like this. And this is how the player is going to dodge all of them like that. So we need the player to die once it touches a red dot. So we're going to go into the player sprite, and we're going to drag a green flag, and we're going to scroll down to control and drag a forever loop and an if statement. So if touching enemy, then we are going to stop the game, which means game over. And we need now a score system. So we're going to go into the backdrops and create a new variable, which we will call score. So we're going to click OK. Next, we're going to just do a simple code right here, sort of like a timer. We're just going to put a forever loop, I'll wait one second, and we're going to put a set score to zero at the beginning and change score by one right here. So this is like a simple timer, and the higher the score means how long you have survived. So I'm just trying to dodge all of these red dots that are popping out of nowhere or the bottom of the screen and yeah it's really hard and you can make it easier by making if I put five then it'll be really easy and I can dodge them no problem unless right there I just died but anyways that's all for today I hope you enjoyed it leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already only a small percent of viewers who watch my videos are actually subscribed, so if you enjoyed the content, please make sure to subscribe, it's free, and you always can change your mind later. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Scratch tutorial. Peace out.